Hi everybody, welcome back to Unreal Thing. You have another instance of Horror Month. Ooh. <laughs> yes. yes. This is our second video. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and you are with the very first zombie movie, directed by uh, George Romero, who passed like a year or two ago. Night of the Living Dead, again, the first zombie movie, absolute classic. Also first horror movie to star a black man. Very influential there. Word. Yeah. Nice. Who's the black man? I don't remember his name, to be honest. He didn't really go and do anything much after this, to be honest. Okay. But cool. it's cool that he's and, got to probably be a piece of and history. And when did this come out? 1968. Cool, okay. It's, it's not that old. I mean, it's old, but not like yeah. those are in the 50s or something like that. Okay. Never seen his don't know the plot. Only thing I know is from what he told me, which is it involves zombies. That's it. And it's, yeah. and it's a classic because it's like one of the first movies that involves zombies. It's the first zombie the first. movie. Yeah, so. Everything we think of as a modern zombie uh, movie, it started with this little indie film from the 60s. Yep. And obviously, this is not the black and white era, but people still doing black and whites. They were, you know. Yeah, to save they, money. Yeah, to save money if they weren't, like, you know. This, yeah, you this know, is very budget. much an independent, <laughs> this is independent production. George yeah. Road did not have a lot of money going to this. It tells you you don't need a lot of money to make a classic. Yeah, look at it. No stabilization on that on that pan shot. Mm-hmm. This, this looks almost handheld. Yeah. If it probably was. Do you remember one time when we were small, we were out here? It was from right over there. I jumped out at you from behind the tree, and Grandpa got all excited, and he shook his fist at me, and he said, Boy, you be damned to hell! <laughs> remember that? Right over there. Well, you used to really be scared here. Johnny. Well, you're still afraid. Stop it now. I mean it. <laughs> They're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> but Stop dick. it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it. You're acting like a child. Look, they're coming for you. Look, there comes one of them now. <laughs> He'll hear you. Here he comes now. I'm getting out of here. Johnny. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, okay. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> no sense, no suspense build up. <laughs> the first scene, essentially. Yeah. It's like two people. It's just two people. They're doing um, their thing, and then boom, zombie. Yep. Makes sense. These guys are not main characters. Cause he told me he's a black guy. Drive, motherfucker. The Kirk Franklin says, "Drive, motherfucker." I really hope he didn't have the keys. Yeah. Mine, well, maybe. Oh. Oh, that's a brick. Yeah. Why is he with the woman? I mean, he could just take the guy, right? I mean, he, he already killed the. Out. He already killed the guy, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I thought he was knocking out. I mean, he, his head did fall face first on that uh, tombstone at the bottom. Uh, so. Okay, shut away. Great. Cause I'm running fast, so you should be fine. Yeah, that car is moving as slow as molasses. What kind of car is that? 
Are you even putting your gas in the pedal, or did you just like yeah, release it? Or did you just like, it's just not in park anymore? <laughs> is it on neutral? Yeah, I think that's what yeah, happened. This, I think shit, just, this shit cannot drive! I think it was just drifting down, oh my god. This shit cannot drive, you just willingly crashed the car. Why? You have a car! Run away! Drive away! I'm assuming she didn't have the keys. Oh, that's is it started moving? Because how, how, how it can move if she doesn't have the car to start it? Because, like, if it's, like, on the incline and she took it off of neutral and what, then, like, No, you know, neutral that's doesn't matter. Them. Neutral doesn't matter. You only can turn neutral when the ignition's on. You so you can't turn- you so you can't no, turn- No, if it's on park, it stays still. Oh. It doesn't move. This is really a late 60s movie that feels like a 40s movie. Yes, it <laughs> is. I feel like I watched, like, Nosferatu or some shit. Oh, that was Rock to be even older. That's like a 20s movie. Yeah, sure. Oh, they're actually making that. They're actually making that. I know. Oh, that's what Rob Eric is directing. The new Nose for movie. Nice. That's when the little Rose Depp is in. Like, another movie that came around this time that had this kind of vibe was uh, Psycho. But Psycho was like eight years before this. I thought Psycho was late 60s. No, that was 1960. Oh, okay. Even though that's still like a 40s movie too. This is a nightmare scene, like living dead people. Mm -hmm. Yikes! I like how that. I like how they're moving too. Like they're actually moving really stiff, like how bodies yeah. would be. Yeah, that's a nice attention to detail. Those are stiffs. Could that plays into the realism of it and the actual scare mm -hmm. factor? Mm -hmm. You scale by making it as realistic as possible. You know? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh oh yeah, What the fuck is that? It's a dead body. I, I, I like dead some. Oh, oh, I saw his eyeball when his. Mm, yeah, I saw parts of his skull. Teeth. He had a beard and a jaw. <laughs> Ooh. Who's that? It's cause of oh, yeah, it's the black guy, right? Yeah, it's protagonist man. Why well, he popped up like that? He just He's like. <laughs> Boost me, nigga! <laughs> <laughs> I bet I bought a racist people back in the days. It was like, ah! <laughs> Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I see I see why this guy um, is the main character. As soon as he comes on the screen, the movie just gets more interesting. Yeah. If you ask me. Stuff that. So it's not the body's presence. Yeah. Yeah, because like he's like a controlling yeah, person still actually he's like here to drive the plot forward. Yeah, exactly. Well their characters are just kind of victims of the plot. Maybe we better take exactly. some food. I'll see if I can find some food. Well he's actually doing shit. Not just running. Look. I know you're afraid. I'm afraid too. But we have to try to board the house up together. Now, I'm going to board up the windows and the doors. Do you understand? We'll be all right here. <laughs> she just like, we'll right what the hell is going on? This lady is now, traumatized. Get some yeah. wood so I can board the place up. Do you understand? Okay? It's crazy how he's okay? like so cool, calm and collected, and she's just freaking out. I mean, he knew about this before, because I'm like, this guy, the way he's moving, like, he's ready yeah, to deal with this. Yeah, he's so prepared. Yeah. That murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured by their murderers. Medical examination of victims' bodies shows conclusively that the killers are eating the flesh of the people they kill. And so this incredible story becomes more ghastly with each report. It's difficult to imagine this so calmly. happening. But Just drop to say calmly. <laughs> have been receiving and passing on to you reports which have been verified as completely yeah, as is possible. Yeah, I guess you do your job. Uh, Zami Paco, keep it calm for the cameras. No oh, wait, 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 for the microphones. Oh! I just... Call it! Don't 
Wait, 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 it seemed like real people. At least the dude, other dude did. Good, more people. More safe. Great. <laughs> No more more security. Our character card just doubled. You guys been down there. I could use some help up here. That's the cellar. It's the safest place. You mean you didn't hear the racket we were making up here? How were we supposed to know what was going on? Could have been those things for all we knew. That girl was screaming. Sure, you must know what a girl screaming sounds like. I'm oh. I'm glad because like. This them two was not cutting it for characters. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm glad yeah. he had two. Movie needed more. Yeah, he needed it. Things don't make any noise. Anybody would know somebody ever needed help. Look, it's kind of hard to hear what's going on from down there. We thought we could hear screams, but for all we knew, that could have meant those things were in the house afterward. And you wouldn't come up and help. Well, if there were more, the racket sounded like the place was being ripped apart. How were we supposed to know what was going on? Now, wait a minute. You just got finished saying you couldn't hear from down there. Now you say it sounded like the place was being ripped apart. It would be nice if you get your story straight, man. All <laughs> right, now you tell me. I'm not going to take that kind of a chance when we got a safe place. We luck into a safe place, and you're telling us we gotta risk our lives just because somebody might need help, huh? Yeah, something like that. All right, why don't we settle this? Look, this Mister, we came up. Okay, we're here. Now I suggest we all go back downstairs before any of those things find out we're in here. They can't get in here. You got the whole place boarded up? Yeah, most of it. All but a few spots upstairs. They won't be hard to fix. You're insane. The cellar's the safest place. I'm telling you, they can't get in here. And I'm telling you, those things turned over our car. We were damn lucky to get away at all. Now you tell me those those things can't get through this lousy pile of wood? His wife and kids downstairs. The kids hurt. Well, I still think we're better off up here. There you go. And one more for good measure. Oh my Ooh. god, it's old. <laughs> it's like 12 of them at least. It's like 20. Oh the god, one I was naked. naked. Yeah. Wow. Mm hmm. They just keep coming. There is only, if, 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 they, if they resurrected every dead person, you're talking about billions. You're crazy. Those things are going to be at every window and door in this place. We've got to get down into the cellar. Go down in your damn cellar. Get say things here. like there are people that look exactly like people. I'm, I'm taking the girl with me. You leave her here. Keep your hands off her. And everything else that's up here, too. Because if I stay up here, I'm fighting for everything up here. And the radio and the food is part of what I'm fighting for. Now, if you're going down the cellar, get. The man's insane. He's insane. We've, we've got to have food down there. We've got a right. This is your house. We've got a right. You going down there with him? Well, I... yes or no, this is your last chance. No beating around the bush. Listen, I got a kid down there. She she can't possibly... I couldn't bring her up here. She can't possibly take all the racket and those, those things smashing through the windows. Well, you're her father. If you're stupid enough to go die in that trap, that's your business. However, I am not stupid enough to follow you. It is tough for the kid that old man is so stupid. <laughs> now, you get the hell down in the cellar. This you Got cursing on white there. people, slapping white women. It's off. There's no sound. Play with the rabbit ears. It reports, incredible as they seem, are not the results of mass hysteria. Mass hysteria. What do they think we're imagining all this? Shut up! In all parts, the wave of murder which is sweeping the eastern third of the nation is being committed by creatures who feast upon the flesh of their victims. Mm, that's what they're doing? First eyewitness accounts of this grisly development came from grisly. people who were understandably frightened and almost incoherent. The FBI, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the CIA has not produced any public information. Why are space experts being consulted about an earthbound emergency? So far, all the betting on the answer to that question centers on the recent Explorer satellite shot to Venus. That satellite, you'll recall, started back to Earth, but never got here. That's the space vehicle which orbited Venus and then perp was purposely destroyed by NASA when scientists discovered it was carrying a mysterious high-level radiation with it. Could so, that radiation so the zombies are some alien shit? It's not just the dead coming to life? Yeah, apparently, according well, to this, it's radio radiation from space. <laughs> By the way, nailing all of the new segment scenes. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel the panic, feel the hysteria. It's not overused. It's reliant 
on these to kind of mix with the you know not too great production value. Yeah, <clears throat> it's also so it's like compensating, just deliver but exposition. It yeah. is effective, mm-hmm. and it's not just pure exposition. It, it carries a story too. I feel. Yeah, and it kind of braces them for what they have to do. Uh, You're coming from a meeting regarding the explosion of the Venus probe. Is that right? Uh, yes, yes, that was the uh, subject of the meeting. You feel there is a connection between this and the there's phenomenon? A, there's a definite connection. A definite connection. In well, other words, no. you feel that the radiation on the Venus probe is enough to call these, cause these mutations? There was a very high degree of radiation. Well, just a minute. Uh, uh, I'm not sure that that's certain at all. I don't but think that has been a uh, explanation that we have at this time. In other words, it is the military's viewpoint that the radiation is not the cause of the mutation. I can't speak for the entire military at this time, gentlemen. I must disagree with these gentlemen presently until we... Uh, okay, so the scene one's certain whether or not it's actually the space radiation or not. Is being done that can be done. Yeah, I think they're hiding shit. They're not giving a full story. Yeah, they clearly know more than they're letting on. Yeah. Which is how the media works in real life. This movie is very political. <laughs> oh, damn it's satirical with how the exchange of news and information. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's something that gets, like, exacerbated more in the sequels. <laughs> in any way. We don't know yet uh, what complications might result from such injuries. How bad has your kid been hurt? Good advice, Doctor. Now, how about the basic um, problem of patients? Well, look, you go down there and tell, you know, Judy, yeah, you tell Judy to come up here and you stay with the kid, all right? In the cold room at the university, we had... And we're calling it now that kid is uh, a zombie. She wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you. Of course, the one having that there, you know. For, come on. Mm-hmm. I know how these movies work. Yeah. But I guess for this time, it will be a shocker. Oh, this is the first time that's been done. Yeah, after <laughs> Saturday. So, yeah, I get it. I don't understand. Two working together as a team. Mm-hmm. As a one unit. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yep. Also, he might just actually be throwing those fucking because they didn't have like CG or anything at the time, so he you know, actually might just be. Th- yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> he might actually just be throwing them shits. <laughs> <laughs> he just locked her out. Yeah, better. In the head, bro. Remember that worked last time. Yep, burn the ass. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. This going burn up. Burn, baby, burn. Uh uh-uh. uh. What's the torch? Oh, yes. <laughs> you got over the car accident. Um, hello? What's oh, wrong with you? It's, ca- it's on fire! Get out! Get out, you idiot! Oh, 
Get out the fucking car! Go! Come on, come on. I take the car. Your wife's car? Oh. My God. You Jesus. got to be kidding me. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, there. I they always go. hate in movies like where, like, you had to escape and some person is stupid enough to get something caught or whatever else. Like, my selfish ass is going to leave you. <laughs> <laughs> head. The head works. <laughs> oh, you piece of shit. Let him in, you asshole. <laughs> yeah. What a dick. Yeah, he was really about to let this man just die out there. This kid's about him and his. Fuck the outsiders. I mean, it means kind of dangerous situations to show you who really got heart and who really are cowards. Oh, yeah. They really do. And this movie also tackles that as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you deserve that. Yeah, you absolutely asshole. deserve that. <laughs> Yeah, this is basically a black exploitation. There's white <laughs> yeah. men beating up white people, smacking white women, bossing them around. Basically the first black exploitation movie, maybe. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yep, they having a a party. Mm-hmm. Having a party, yada yada. Like, ooh, nice and crispy. They chewing on your body, yada yada. They chewing on their body, yada yada. That girl looks like some some from some possession movie. Yeah, like the ring. Yeah, she's... Look, like they drizzle sauce on, those, on that meat. I like know. It's it not in, even seasoned, dipped guys. It in, dipped it in barbecue blood sauce. And, mm, yummy. Up all the flesh eaters. So long as the heavy rain... Oof. How are you, Jules? Is the fuse box in the cellar? I don't know. I... It isn't the fuse. The power lines are down. <laughs> oh, one of them's picking up a rock. Yeah, they're about to break in that bitch. That's smart enough to use tools to get to break in place that they want to get get into. Yeah, that's smart than most zombie movies, honestly. Yeah, right. Is she even strong enough to be holding back those doors? Cause she doesn't really look it. No, this guy just standing around doing nothing. Yeah, Help, seriously. You stupid. Your wife is trying Clown. to bar the doors by herself. Your wife got more balls than you. You can go for the gun. He's gonna go for the gun. Cause he's a pussy. Yeah, you saw the way he looked at it. Yeah, he looked at like, like a fat kid looking at a big piece of, you know, chicken. Get 
that guy beat the shit out of you the first time. Imagine he's gonna do you now. Yup, he's gonna fuck you up now. Unhelpful douche. Oh shit. Oh! oh he he popped him! He dead fuck! <laughs> he dead as fuck! Luckily he wasn't bitten by one of those things. Yeah. We have to worry about him turning. Oh no 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 help her help her help her Why I thought he would he's still up Wow he is he is slowly dying He is dragging this out Let's die already you selfish piece of shit Is Dodo kick? She seems like very out cold. Let's hope yeah. she's not dead. I can't tell if she's breathing or not. That might not be a good sign. Yeah. The last scene, she was up. She was talking. Yeah. I hope nothing hemorrhaging. Mm -hmm. Help, help, help. Come on, do something, do something, girl. You've been dormant all movie. Oh, do finally. Something. She's doing something. Yes, she's finally active. She's not a sitting potato. A frightened sitting potato in this entire <laughs> film. Oh, oh no. And now he's gonna turn because she took a bite out of him. Mm-hmm. Actually I'm not even sure if they need to take bites out of them before him to turn or not. I'm pretty sure they I'm pretty sure the news guy said that everyone who dies will turn into one of them. No, anyone who dies that was bitten, right? No, no I don't think the news guy oh, said right, anything right, about right, bites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be dead. yeah, the news yeah, guy didn't say anything about bites. Be dead. Right, right, right. Yeah. So I, I, I guess being big on it doesn't really matter. Because if you die anyways, we're going to have to turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, baby. Oh, no. She'll eat her mom's. Oh. Uh, she I've never seen Zombie smart to pick up tools and use tools. I know, right? It's kind of weird. My God, she's she, she, she cycling her shit. <laughs> yeah. She's cycling her shit. Oh uh, no! How poetic, though. She about to get ganked by her bro, bro. Let's hope not. Let's see if she can break. No, yes, right. No, no way. <laughs> yeah, she's taking her away. A, she's a goner. I'm mean, just kind of pulling some movie anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know if you cold, but I mean, come on. She was just a scared, frightened potato this entire movie. Mm-hmm. She just sat on the couch and just looks distraught for like two hours. Oh. Oh shit, the girl, the girl. He about to kill, he's about to kill a white girl. <laughs> he just fucking tossed her aside, just so casually. Well, they're in. So yeah, he's now yeah. trapped. Yeah, that's everyone, right? Everyone's yeah, dead now, yeah. right? It's just him. The mother dead, the dickhead is dead, the white girl, the blonde chick, got eaten by her brother. Mm hmm. The two sure couple blew up. Because one of them couldn't get the fuck out of the silver seatbelt. Yeah. Wow, just him? Wow. It's just that him That escalated. <laughs> that, that, that escalated. They all died so fast. Just like that. <laughs> all these builders have to die horribly. I see why they didn't want to reach this movie. This is like no hope. It's just all this build up just for them to die. Mm -hmm. But they miss the point, though. <laughs> it's not meant to do that. If, that, if this movie was triumphant, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that would make it weaker. Yeah, exactly. Weaker narrative. Because larger points that this movie trying to get to. Yeah, Hollywood has a has a really bad history of like altering the endings of horror films. Like uh mm -hmm. like for example They do with Paranormal Activity, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. I know they definitely did with an, the original fifties version of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, where they had this That's really horror? Yeah, that this That's really the next one we gotta see. That this really creepy That's ending, it. but then like they totally ruined it in the mm. next scene. <laughs> oh yep. he's coming up. He's yeah, he's coming up. You get to kill him twice. In the grill. Perfect. 
Alright, dig it down! Show him in the head, right? Okay, some of those are personal. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> fuck this dude. Pow! 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 Oh, oh, that's uh, gruesome. Yeah, do not show that in theaters in the 60s. And now uh, you got shit in her head, unfortunately. I'm sorry, mama. Do what you gotta do, homeboy. Yeah, you gotta do it. Oh, did you shoot her? Oh. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I, I didn't hit it one time. Yeah, it's a very subtle sound effect. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's a silence on a motherfucker. So if they don't break in, you, you can wait out the daylight. Yeah, because that door goes, you are so fucked. <laughs> yeah, you're 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 done. You're done so. It's like the purge with zombies. Yeah, in a sense. In a sense that's all one night at least. Yeah, on night, yeah. Yeah, I didn't mean to turn like narrative, it's more like terms of like it's just nighttime. They just come out and try to kill you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this day of your zombification oh, is that the legal. purge bell talking about the purge. Is it, is, talking about the purge was that the purge bell I just heard? Yep, now daytime. <laughs> that was the purge bell, the zombie bell. Let them know it's daylight. Zombification is now illegal. Yes. Go back to your residence. Go back to your regular <laughs> life. And a couple of dogs. There's a house over here behind those trees. We want to go check it out. Oh no! You just have a here, Bill. I have a bad feeling. Yeah, chief, we're going to stay with it till we meet up with oh, the guard. Oh, look at what going to do. One of the volunteers no. you're doing all the work. You take it. Thank you. We're no! up here about three or four more hours. Oh my we'll god. Get into Willard, then. I guess you can go over there and meet the oh. National Guard. I just, Nick, I just can tell because I've seen these kind of moves before. I know how they so end. I'm going to check in the office see what's happening. Because nothing. Right, Steve, oh. Tell them we're going to stay with it then. Uh, everything appears to be under control. Uh, you can accidentally kill the black guy, huh? That would be a very dark way to end this movie. That'd if they really do it, I understand definitely why they fucking. And he's gonna pop. Let me, let me guess. He's gonna pop his head out. Pow! Out of fear. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh my God! I know where this is going. They're building up to it. Trust me. They're doing. They're building up to it. It's the reason why they're killing so much people around this premises. He's a dead one. Get up here. Nick, Tony. Steve, you want to get out in that field and build me a bonfire? You, drag that out of here and throw it on the fire. Yeah. Down here. All right, go ahead so now you didn't and make give one me a hand. Let's go check out the house. It may be like, black guy, blah, 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 blah. I heard a noise. Oh no 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 Of course Of course Okay Just like that Just like that one for the fire Fuck Balls Well he about to turn into a zombie well, you got shot in the head, I'm pretty sure, so... Oh, right, right, yeah, so he's, yeah, he's just dead. As I said before, Hollywood wanted George Romero... Would have actually distributed this movie widely if George Romero changed his ending, but he didn't. He's like, fuck you guys, I'm making my own moves. Well, good, at least he's in favor of the black man. Mm-hmm. And it's not a race thing on this point, obviously, because this is in the 60s. Well, yeah, I mean, you could. I feel like you really can't talk about this movie and not mention the race. It'd be kind of yeah. a disservice, because and keep in mind, movies are not... In a bubble. This movie yeah. came out during and a period of time where this was a very controversial yeah. move. Like, dude, it's just like during the Civil War, Civil Rights Movement. Like, Martin King was just fucking killed. Like, yeah, actually, I actually don't know when this is really small. And Malcolm X. Well, yeah. same year that he died. Yeah, but so, Malcolm X was definitely dead like, mm -hmm. the year before. He died in 67. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this is like racially charged times. Yeah, you know what I mean? Martin Luther King might have been alive, but I don't know who he was. Mm -hmm. In the movie, and he's just yes. bossing everybody around, killing mother, killing white he's men, the driving force beating up white men, smacking white women, mm -hmm. showing white girls. <laughs> yeah, and he's the driving. He's a central force. Yeah, exactly. He's the only one that's really he's he he's, he's a survivor, solo yeah. survivor until he wasn't. <laughs> of course, this movie is actually very political. It's, it's a, it's a, it shows you how how America, how this like media lies to people and and feeds them false information. Yeah, they also, you know, yet they also feed them the information they absolutely need to know. It's You never know what you can and can't trust, and exactly. it's so, and so anxiety-inducing. Exactly, because exactly, they do tell you how to do it, but then you also can't fully trust it at the same time. Yeah, because... Like, 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 like the real world. 
Yeah, because you always know they have no more like COVID. You know what I mean? Like, who can you trust? You know what I mean? Who's telling the truth? What is 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 the is vaccine right for you? Is it not? Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like kind of like that. Does it show how the circulation of information through media? Yeah, and how to handle crisis situations. Yeah, I think it's very poetic that he died the way he did because yeah. what is the true killer in this in a scenario like this? Misinformation. Yep. And they're misinformed it. of what they were shooting at. Yep. And he died. There is no no chance. Not even to see if this was a live body. Nope. As soon as he pops his head, pop like right. whack a mole. And I'm like. Mm-hmm. Not even oh, a chance. Yeah, see a guy moving in there. Bam. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not knowing that, hey, it could be survivors there. May yeah. not. Maybe just shoot maybe first. Maybe make sure that survive. that's a zombie. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it is assuming. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. that's exactly how people get. Ignorance people, in the people media. Get, when people are really on narrative, they just de- they don't deviate from it. They just like attack anything. <laughs> media ignorance. Yeah. Because the media drives ignorance and it also drives actual knowledge, so that's the most maddening part yeah. of it. This movie's a classic, for sure, absolutely. I see, I see, what's a classic, and this is the first of its time. Oh so, yeah, and a lot of movies copied from this so hard. Mm-hmm. I and mean, they started franchises on top of franchises. It, it technically, it, it technically started two different. Shaun of the Dead, <laughs> Evil Dead. Yeah, no, like, even as uh, well, like, Evil Dead's like yeah, demonic that's, that's, possession. Yeah, whatever, whatever. I mean, but Shaun of the Dead, uh, uh, um, Return of the Living, Return Dead. of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead. Well, that's the actual sequel to this movie. Yeah, but as I said, sequels and remake, whatever yeah. else. Also, it's one of also it's one franchises, enough, type of franchises. Also, oddly enough, in the seventies, uh, Italian director Lucio Ful- Lucio Fulci, he made his own set of sequels to this movie <laughs> called Zombie Two, Zombie Three. I'm like, that's literally what he what did. What a creative name! Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so again, this movie went on. This movie inspired a fucking yeah. lot. So like, this this is every staple in cinematic culture, especially in horror. Mm-hmm. It's probably the most important horror film of all time. Like honestly, we wouldn't have had The Walking Dead if it wasn't yeah. for this. Like even the whole- this movie's bold, man. This probably invented yeah. the, the way of killing, sort of murdering people like ruthlessly. Yeah, because no movie like this is doing anything like. Yeah, this. we didn't have you know the main characters like just like that Coley. Kill mm-hmm. everybody essentially, like yeah. Is- yeah, everyone's dead. Yeah. They die in very gruesome very ways, fucked up ways. Yep. Yeah, like very so child movie. murder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even children are dead. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I horror movies were like very much usually not doing that sort of thing, or they in the few that were were like you know not very much not American movies. So they were not in was, American circulation. The at narrative all. of his movies definitely was ahead of its time for sure. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, this movie gets about ninety one for me. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, I definitely. see. I see the classicness in this. It is like it does have some slow parts, and I personally yeah. do like, like the first two sequels. George Romero made to it, Dawn and Day of the Dead, better. But this overall is just a very great movie for its time, and it, it's an important part of film history. Agreed. I'm excited to see the sequels. Yeah, it's a good time. Anyways, thanks for joining us here tonight. Please make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that so you're caught up with all of our new videos, and we we'll see you next time for the next instance of Horror Month. Till next time, folks. Later.